always sitting with this hope that what you're doing here in this little isolated space is going to make a difference somewhere else out in the world. And you know that that's what SAGE is about. And, and I know that the big pull, the big anchor, is that you're hoping that somewhere out there our little program is going to make a difference for another woman in another place that is doomed to be buried in that shallow grave. Last December I was in Korea. I was with um, people from the Department of Justice who had started our men's program. And he was telling me that the survivors of trafficking are the most effective part of their program. And so I said, well, how many survivors do you have speaking in your program? Oh, they will never speak. There's too much shame and stigma. And then I get a call that there were around 30 survivors at the assembly, which is like our Congress, giving a presentation on the research they had done on customers. And I was like, survivors, I need to go there. We walk into the restaurant and walking through, and I walk by a room, and it was like magnet. I just felt it. And I looked in, and there were the 30 survivors sitting there with my friend from the Ministry of Gender Equality just sitting in the middle, just beaming. And they all started clapping, and they all started crying, and I started crying, and... They came up to me one by one and whispered in my ear, I'm going to carry on your legacy. I'm going to carry on your work. Miss, Miss Norma, they called me. And our website is up on everybody's computer um, in, uh, in Korea.